Well, tonight, a San Francisco startup is making whiskey that has never seen the inside of a barrel, and they're doing it in much less time. Betty Yu introduces us to Endless Wes, which is pushing the boundaries of whiskey making. It looks like whiskey and smells like whiskey, but a new San Francisco startup is creating its own brand through science and doing so in a lab. Newly launched glit from a startup called Endless West is made in Silicon Valley style. In this section of the lab, Endless West can craft whiskey in this space and manufacture it in about 24 hours. It's made to taste as if it were aged. Traditional whiskey can take anywhere from a few years to 50 years to age. We are making the world's first molecular whiskey. We source and identify the molecules that you find in whiskeys on the shelf. We find them from other places in nature, and then we sort of design them from scratch. Glyph is its first product. CEO and co-founder Alec Lee says, though it's designed in a lab, there's nothing artificial about the whiskey. People aren't really scared of this because, you know, they know it all still comes from nature. It's all made, you know, molecule by molecule, so it's very highly controlled. People care very deeply about how it's made, and it's all handmade here in San Francisco. So, you know, there's really nothing, there's nothing clinical here. The different components are added to medical grade alcohol. The federal government classifies Glyph as a spirit whiskey with natural flavors. Endless West says the flavor is inspired by the maturation in sherry casks with notes of caramel and vanilla designed to appeal to a wide swath of consumers. Swirl it around. Mm -hmm. I found that to be the case as a non-whiskey drinker during a blind taste test. It featured five mostly high-end whiskeys. Glyph tasted the most middle of the road to me. This tastes sweeter than the rest. Mm -hmm. Each bottle sells for up to $55, depending on the retailer. And right now, Glyph can be found in select bars and restaurants in San Francisco and Brooklyn. Lee says it's more cost effective, takes less time, and is more sustainable than traditional whiskey making. Equally important to the consumer is the story behind Glyph. I think that this will be a game changer, but only in the sense that it adds a new appreciation for different forms of, of this art. I think that people will always want to experience whiskey that was aged in a barrel, and I think that they should. But I think what changes is that people sort of broaden the scope of what's acceptable as, as whiskey. Cheers. Cheers. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.